Small cell carcinoma of the lung is a poorly differentiated neuroendocrine carcinoma. It consists of relatively small cells with round to oval shaped nuclei with minimal cytoplasm. The nuclei are commonly hyperchromatic and therefore the tumor has a basophilic or blue appearance on low magnification and we can, as we can see here. It is commonly centrally located and, in t uh, and it typically spreads along the bronchi. Uh, so the bronchus can be seen here with the cartilage and bronchial mucinous glands, which can be seen here. The tumor is typically uh, arranged in solid sheets with just small amount of stroma. On higher magnification, we can appreciate uh, the typical small cells with round to oval shaped nuclei. The chromatin is typically finely granular. The nuclei are in inconspicuous or not visible. The chromatin is traditionally also described as salt and pepper chromatin, but uh, I don't find it to be a particularly useful term. This description is based on the idea that the granular or finely granular chromatin resembles salt and inconspicuous tiny nucleoli uh, resembles pepper. But I think that the term finely granular uh, chromatin is much better. Uh, if we see the prominent nucleoli, we need to think about differential diagnosis. Sometimes squamous cell carcinoma can mimic small cell carcinoma and we need to do immunohistochemistry. The neuroendocrine cells are positive for synaptophysin and chromogranin A and also for CD56 on immunohistochemistry. Synaptophysin and chromogranin are positive in neurosecretory granules of these cells and uh, the positivity proves that uh, these cells have neuroendocrine granules and that they are of neuroendocrine origin. The nuclei are also sometimes uh, compared uh, to the oat flakes or oat cells uh, because of the oval shape of the nuclei. The small cell carcinoma is typically a very aggressive and rapidly growing tumor and it is commonly associated with necrosis. So in this part of the picture or this part of the, of the slide we can see a necrotic area. It also metastasizes very early and therefore surgery is uh, not recommended as the primary treatment. However, uh, this tumor often has a good response to chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And uh, here we have another case of small cell carcinoma. The mitotic activity is usually prominent and here we can, we can find a lot of mitotic figures. This is one mitosis. This is another one also here. And also in this case we can appreciate solid nests uh, composed of the cells with minimal cytoplasm and oval shaped nuclei with um, finely granular chromatin pattern. In between the solid nests we have uh, uh, delicate fibrous stroma with uh, small capillaries or blood vessels. The letter S is quite useful in mnemonic for small cell carcinoma. So we have a small cell carcinoma, which is commonly centrally located. Smoking is an important risk factor. And uh, paraneoplastic syndromes are commonly clinically associated with uh, small cell carcinomas. Uh, thanks for watching.